In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I look for in a paintball jersey. A lot of custom jerseys on the market today use some sort of polyester. And that's because it has a less water absorption rate than cotton at about 0.4%, while cotton is right around seven. That's why a lot of athletes tend to steer towards this dry fit material. All of these jerseys behind me are sublimation printed. They start off on a white piece of fabric and your custom design is sent to the printer. And once it's printed, it's cut and sewn together. Simple enough. This jersey was actually purchased overseas. And while the price was right, the lead time to actually get the jersey was right around four months, which was pretty ridiculous. And the truth is, this jersey did not hold up to the abuse of paintball. The material used here was also polyester, but the jersey seems a lot heavier compared to others that I've worn. But worst of all, it did not breathe well at all. But that could be because of the various amount of padding on this jersey, which certainly would not help with the heat. I'm not a big fan of padding. The stitching is starting to fall apart and the color is starting to fade in a few areas. Ugh. This year, our Spartan jerseys and apparel were actually made by TKO Jersey, which is a Canadian-based company based out of Woodstock, Ontario. So dealing with a company that's actually located in North America will not only help with lead times, but just be better overall to deal with. Support local. By the way, this is my honest opinion, and I haven't been paid or given any kind of free products to do this review, so just keep that in mind. When I went to go check out their prices, they seemed quite cheap compared to their competitors. $60 for a jersey and a $20 design fee, compared to other websites I've seen charge $200 for just a design fee. That's not bad at all. So one thing I liked most about this jersey was the material. It is 100% polyester, as most of the other jerseys were, but the jersey itself was perforated, so it breathes extremely well. This jersey also has zero padding, which helps make this extremely light, and it has a bit of a stretch, but it's nothing like spandex. A couple of things that I would like to see improve on this jersey is at least a handcuff or a thumb loop or something. It's not a huge deal, but it is kind of annoying every time you slide into the snake, having to pull down your jersey every time. But if you end up getting hit in the elbow pad, that's not a bad way to hide a hit. While the jersey itself has held up really well on the field, I would like to see at least an abrasion resistant material around the forearms. Most people probably wouldn't notice, that's just a personal preference of mine. This 2016 Empire jersey is what I first used playing paintball. And while it does check a lot of my boxes for what I feel makes a great jersey, there is one flaw. You can't get them custom made with your own logo. That's why I think TKO is the clear winner here. $60 for a jersey is hard to beat, and it's cheap. They also have other packages where you can get t-shirts, hoodies, shorts, you name it. A lot of people tend to think with their wallets, and I'm the type of person who likes to represent something that I am passionate about, whether that's my team or it's my own personal brand. There's definitely no better feeling than having that sense of pride when you're putting on a piece of clothing that has your own personal name on it. Either way, guys, I'll leave some links down in the description if you guys want to check out TKO Jersey. Uh, also, I'll have one of my latest videos pop up somewhere over here. And until next time, I hope to see you guys at the field. Later.